Welcome to these daily self-care practices, these daily well-being practices. I am joined by my co-teacher, Nicola. We're going to do a breathing practice right now that can be really helpful when you're facing the frustration, rage, irritation, overwhelm experience. This is called the lion's breath and we're going to do it uh, simha pranayama. We're going to do it with our pause. Look, my guest teacher is off screen, but he's looking right at me at the moment. So we're going to be doing lion's breath, which you can associate with Nakula. We're going to make our pause like this on the knees and then change those into claws on the exhale. On the inhale, you're going to breathe in through the nose. Take a deep breath. On the exhale, we stick the tongue way out. We roll the eyes up and we roar for the exhale sound, right? So we're we're scaring off the demons, as it were. Right? So this is Simha breathing. It can help to move anger, frustration, irritation, rage, overwhelm, all the things. So place your paws on your lap. Let's inhale through the nose. And then exhale. And then breathe in through the nose, make your pause again. And breathing in. Let's say peace or sovereignty or clarity. Breathing out frustration. <sighs> Breathing in. <sighs> and then once more, breathing in peace, clarity, inner leadership. And breathing out the frustrations, irritations, overwhelm. And then sit quietly for a moment and take notice if there's any bit of relief for you. Calm down the mind and the brain. So take your right hand, bring the first two fingers into the center of your palm. Partially close both nostrils, keeping them both partially open. And then inhale slowly. It's going to be a slow inhale because you are providing resistance. And then release the exhale like you're sighing. Pause for a few moments. This one is called Prachalama Pranayama. And let's do it again. Partially close both nostrils, leaving them both partially open. As you're slowing down the inhale with that bit of resistance, it's drawing the energy of Vata Dosha and Pitta Dosha back down into the abdomen, the solar plexus, and the pelvic basin. And you can treat the exhale like a sigh, releasing both nostrils and sighing out any leftover tension. Do this one more time. When we draw down Vata Dosha, it's to help reduce anxiety. We draw down Pitta Dosha to help reduce frustration. Let's do it once more.
And again, you can treat the exhale like a sigh. And return your right hand to your lap. And sit quietly in the echo, the sort of afterglow of the pranayama. So when you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious or frustrated, no doubt your doshas go out of balance. They go with you to those states of overwhelm and anxiety. And sometimes it's the doshas that are causing those experiences too. So it can be really helpful to have a way to navigate that without causing further imbalance, right? So sometimes we reach for substances or social media or whatever we do to try to relieve the tension we're feeling from anger, rage, anxiety, or overwhelm. And sometimes those have secondary effects, so this is a way to do it, hopefully, um, cleanly, as we say. So, okay, thank you for being here. I hope this has been helpful. See you next time.